Okay, so Reliance recently launched GeoMeet, which not only look exactly similar to Zoom, but it's also available on Windows, Mac, Android, iOS, and web. Now, before you pack your bags and say goodbye to Zoom or Google Meet, the question has to be asked, how good is GeoMeet? And more importantly, how does it compare with the alternatives like Google Meet or Zoom? Well, you know what? This is Minar from techvisor.com and here's the thing. GeoMeet is basically Zoom, but in the beta stage with the potential to be even better. Let's see how. Now, before we begin, let's quickly see how to start a GeoMeet call. So to start a meeting, you need to sign up with your name first and last and then the phone number and then you have to enter the OTP or use your email to verify. Now tap on the new meeting option on the home screen and then select whether you want to keep the video on or off and generate a personal meeting ID. By default, it's turn off, but it's better to enable this for privacy and then click on start meeting and that's pretty much it. Now to invite participants, click on the participant option at the bottom and then tap on invite. Now you can choose to mute or unmute the participants when they join and then copy the invite link and send it on Slack, Gmail, WhatsApp or whatever that works for you. Okay, now that we understand the basics of GeoMeet, let's come back to our statement and it has three important parts. GeoMeet is basically Zoom but in the beta stage with the potential to be even better. Now let's start with the first part. The similarities between GeoMeet and Zoom. Well, first off is the interface. The mobile interface look exactly the same. The same UI and same feature. Here, take a look. Similar to Zoom, it has the same option to create a meeting, invite people. It even has a waiting room like Zoom. You can even schedule a meeting and share the meeting code in advance with the participants. Heck, even the desktop app looks the same. Next up, similar to Zoom, GeoMeet can also be used for both one-on-one -on -one meeting or group video call conference, hosting up to hundreds of participants at the same time. Also similar to Zoom, in GeoMeet, you will be able to join a meeting without signing up. Yes, you don't need an account to join a GeoMeeting. However, to host a meeting, you will need to create an account and log in. And finally, just like Zoom, GeoMeet is also available on Windows, Mac, Android, iOS, and even on web. Though there is no support for Linux yet, which Zoom has. So yeah, GeoMeet is basically Zoom, but here's a reason we said it's in the beta stage. So the first reason is the audio issue. Like when you join the meeting, the audio goes shut if you are on Bluetooth. So I have to switch to speaker, then turn off the Bluetooth, connect back, and then again to the headset. Good luck figuring that out. At times, it just go black. So that stops. And yeah, if you mistakenly tap or pinch on the picture, it goes super zoom in. And the final issue is with the web version. It simply doesn't work. This may be due to first day of launch and high load on the server, but as of now, it simply doesn't work for us. And this brings us to the third part, why GeoMeet can be even better than Zoom. So the number one reason I like GeoMeet over Zoom is of course, it's made in India. In fact, it has 100k downloads just on the first day and the rating of 4.6 on Play Store. And the place I find GeoMeet better than the Zoom is unlike Google Meet and Zoom where there's a time limit of around 40 minutes, you don't have any time limit for the free meetings. In fact, a meeting on GeoMeet can go as long as 24 hours without any interruption. That's pretty dope. Another reason I prefer GeoMeet over Zoom is security and privacy option. So you might remember Zoom bombing, a common privacy issue on Zoom. Well, on GeoMeet, each and every meeting hosted is password protected by default. So only the people you want to join the meeting will be able to do so. And finally, the calls are also encrypted. So the people on the network can't just sniff around. But whether it's end-to-end -end encrypted, well, they haven't answered that yet. Overall, before we boycott Chinese products, it's important to have good Indian alternative. And Reliance did exactly that with GeoMeet. It not only has pretty much all the useful features of Zoom, but it even delivers more like no time limit for video calls and better security. Yes, it does has its fair share of problem like audio and video issues. But since it's an early version, we can let it slide and hope that Reliance will be able to fix it in the near future. As of now, TechVisor will shift its daily morning meetings from Google Meet to Zoom. And I expect you do the same. It's good to promote good Indian services. That's it. Do let me know what are your thoughts in the comment section below and I will catch you in the next one.